Back here on EA Sports, Jane Savolsky along with Ray Ferraro, who's down at ice level. This should be a fun one here this evening. The Bears are playing their second game in as many nights, but they're at home. Does that help? It does a little bit because, of course, you don't have to deal with the travel. You drive from home, you get to the rink, but you might use a different goalie. You're going to stretch out your bench, and I don't think that matters home or away. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, and we are now officially underway. Sends it across. Can't capitalize on the play. Tries to get it over to Gustafson. Here's a chance. Denied! I don't know what more could be done there. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. Grabbed along the board by Stevenson. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. Gustafson's got the puck in his own zone. And that's knocked away by Hathaway. Puts it on net. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. Seattle's on the attack. And that's broken out. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck grab by Gustafson. Here's a short pass to Halla. Too much traffic in the lane. Schwartz is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Let's get the call here. Gustafson's getting called for tripping on the play. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. This team is aware that their penalty kill is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. And, you know, with the confidence that they showcase, they might be able to turn this thing around and shut down this power play right now. Here he is, wrestling on net. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance. Scores! And they take advantage! A really confidently run power play right from the way they entered the zone the way they held on to the puck and moved it, and they found the open man. Oh, I thought he had this, James. He's all over it, but it still squeezes past him into the net. like the more aggressive team and for good reason now with the lead. Now they've got that lead, they can play with the pace that they want to. They can really control how this game is played. And that's just out of reach. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Stays with it. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. Moves it to Glenn Denning. St. Petersburg's on the attack. How did he stop that one? Puck sent over to McCann. Nice pass. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Wenberg's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. The Kraken have the puck in their own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Seattle's got the puck along the boards. Manages to hang on. Bastion's got it against the boards. Grabs it with the glove. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Ready to get that significant other in your life, or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey? Team Store's got you covered. Visit them online. Denied by the goaltender. Move to the middle! There's another stop! We're gonna have to work a lot harder to beat him tonight, I guess. There's two excellent saves in a row. Comrie's blocker comes into good use there. Good positioning, and he's able to deflect it away. 
Still lots of time left here in this frame. one nothing the score. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Off the glove and the puck skips away. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Seattle's won the draw and they'll go to work. And they won't connect on that one. Ah, oh, that goes awry. Man, they create the scoring chance, and it's a good one, but they don't get it on the net. Icing the call. They get burned on the play here, Ray. This is the responsibility of the centerman now. You're tired. Your guys around you are tired. You have to bear down and find a way, at the very least, to tie the draw so the offensive team doesn't get a big advantage. Seattle's won the faceoff. That was an important faceoff, James. Now they got an offensive zone possession. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to CeCe. Takes a shot. Oh, what a great save by Grubauer. He worked hard to find the puck, but it's also because he's in great position. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Offside is the call, and we'll have a faceoff just outside the offensive zone. Grubauer's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And no luck on that pass attempt. Quick feed to Vatnin. And they send it right back to him. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Takes a shot, and that banks off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Alexiak. And they continue to apply pressure here. Takes the feed from the left side. Puck picked up by Hurdle. Across the point. Slides it back to the blue line. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Seattle's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Bears have it now. Sends a pass over. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Here he is in front! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Feeds it over to Gustafson. Feeds the puck to Glenn Denning. Poked away by Larson. Steps into the offensive end. Taken by Glenn Denning. Here's a short pass to Moore. Takes a shot. They put it in the back of the net and we're tied. They worked hard for this goal. They get the chance. They finally put it away. And now everything, as you mentioned, is all level. He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. More than half the frame has been played here. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Great read with the stick. Scooped up along the wall by Anderson. Chance in front! Denies him in close. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Hathaway. Gets it over to Stevenson. Larson's got it in the defensive end. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Appleton's got it into offensive territory. And it takes a shot. Turned aside by the goaltender. Moves the puck behind the net. That pass doesn't go. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Larson's lugging the puck. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. And now it's grabbed by Bastion. And that's knocked away by Kajula. And they send it down the ice. 
Puck scooped up by Stevenson. Answered the call there. Centering pass. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like to read you on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Great pressure on the offensive end by Murray. And that's picked off. St. Petersburg's regained possession of the puck. And he slides it quickly to hit Estroza. Puck grabbed by Murray. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Through center along the wing. Well, that'll get a response. Fleury's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Grubauer's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Another look on the replay at a good scoring chance that's turned aside. The goalie's in position. Doesn't have to make a spectacular save, so it's a good one. Late goings of this period. We got a tie game. Seattle's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Slides it across to Everly. Poked away at center by Vatnin. Off the left wing and into center. They go on the attack through center. The Kraken have gained control of the puck in their own zone. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Quick pass to CeCe. Slides the puck across to Vatnin. Nice dish from the left wing. Puck picked up by Fleury. And that's poked away by Faust. And that's turned aside by Grubauer. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. Sends it over to Hurdle. St. Petersburg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it over to Vatnin. That pass doesn't go. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Takes it to the net. And he goes back to regroup. Here's a chance. Great read as he crouches down to block it. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Yeah, I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Seattle's got it, and they're on the attack. Driving right to the front. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Seattle's won the draw. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Glenn Denning. The Bears look to start the transition game. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Taken by Gustafson. Here's a breakaway. Shuts him down on the breakaway. I thought the shooter had him here. He made a really good move, but the goalie reacted quickly and took away the shot. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Interference the call. Can you argue this one? Well, you can argue anything, James, but that's fair. That's an interference penalty. Guys, after this power play was able to capitalize on their first opportunity of the night, they're looking like a more confident group. We know they're ranked toward the bottom of the league, but if they can just do what they did already, they can get it done here tonight. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. That concludes the opening 20 as both teams show some signs of life offensively. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
there just moments away from the start of period number two. Seattle's power play is still intact as this period is now underway and they take possession. Quick pass over to Stevenson. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. Gets it back. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Quick feed to Schwartz. Whoa. Scores! It's a go-ahead goal as they get in front. The power play comes through for them. You go out in here with an opportunity to change the, the way this game's looked at. Now you've put your team ahead. The power play comes through just like it's supposed to do. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. The Kraken have taken a one-goal lead. James, we've talked about this enough. I think you've got a one-goal lead. You work hard to make it a two-goal lead. You don't sit back on your heels. And now it's grabbed by Larson. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. Gets it to the other point. Sends the pass over. What a block as he lays out in front of it. Moves across the point. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. They're playing the game downhill, James. The whole shift is in this end. Comes up with a big stop. Grubauer's gonna cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Lots of time left in this period. Seattle's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Hurdles won it off the face-off. Handles the puck. And that's knocked away. St. Petersburg's got it in their own zone. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. St. Petersburg's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Takes the pass. Near the point. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Here's a chance. Right in the slot. Scores! Right back to the beginning of the night. When the game was tied to start, nobody has the upper hand anymore. Man, the goalie's gonna look at his teammates and say, is anybody gonna cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. St. Petersburg's counter punch pays off. They've evened things up here in the second. They've had really good legs since the start of this period, and it seemed like a matter of time before they punched through. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Moore. That's moved up ahead. Glendening's got one goal in this tied game. You know he'd like to find another one. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Moves it over to Hathaway. Here's a short pass to Murray. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Taken by Hathaway. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed down low with the stop. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Everly. Textbook poke check by Vatnin. St. Petersburg's got it along the wall. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Poked away in the offensive zone by Stevenson. Benino's looking around near the point. Big time stop there. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Hathaway's got the puck near the back end. And he makes the save. Great pressure with the stick. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Hurdle. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Breakaway! Stopped by the puck stopper! Yeah, beaten is the term, James. The goaltender beats the shooter on that one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Moves it to Faust. That's kicked away with the pad by Grubauer. Seattle's got it in their own zone. 
feeds the puck over to Bourne. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Off target. So frustrating. You do all this work, you get it into a good spot, and you don't get it on the net. All alone. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. He got clear in the low slot, found where the opening was, and takes that pass to one time it past the goalie. The Bears go ahead by one. They had to work for that one. A lot of work put in just to get yourself inching into the lead. There's still lots of time left. Puck scooped up by Gustafson. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. Quick pass to Gustafson. Takes the feed. Point to point pass. Holds the puck at the line. Broken up. Seattle's got it across the line. And they're awarding a penalty shot here on the play. He broke free. It looks like he's in all alone till he gets tripped up. This is the right call. He takes a deep breath at center ice. It's go time here. Big save and breathe that sigh of relief. Uh, the pressure on both the shooter and the goaltender is enormous. Everybody in the building staring at you on this penalty shot, and the goalie wins this one. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Kajula stick handling in his own zone. Quick feed to Hall. Passes on over to Martin. The Bears played along the wing. Can't connect on the pass. And the puck stopper steps behind his own net to play the puck along the boards. Moves it to Hittestroza. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Murray. Seattle's got control of the puck. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. The Bears going to work on offense. Here's a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Another sellout crowd here tonight. It's kind of a broken record when we say that these yeah, days. Yeah, it's starting to be the, the regular deal here. As the team plays well, the crowd follows. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Taken along the wall by Alexiak. And they keep the pressure on. Puck grabbed by Anderson. Seattle's looking to break out. Bastion's got it along the boards. The Bears get a hold of it. Slides it diagonally to Glendening. Can't get a hold of that pass. And it's kicked away. And that pass goes awry. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Anderson's moving the puck through his own zone. Maintains possession. Moves it quickly over to Anderson. Poked away by Murray. Looks to make a play over to CeCe. Dishes it to Glenn Denning. A little back and forth. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Anderson's carrying it ahead. And that's poked away by Glenn Denning. Picked up along the wall by Alexiak. Here he is on the backhand. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Across the line from center. A shot denies him on the play. St. Petersburg's got it near the point. Here's a short pass to CeCe. 
Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Grubauer. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Getting into the later stages of this period, 3-2 is where we're sitting. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Vatnin. And not much on that one. He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies right in front of him. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Couldn't complete the pass. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. Made the stop on that play. Takes a shot. That's gloved by Grubauer. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Whoa, James, I'll tell you, I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Hurdles won it in their own end. Great reach by Stevenson. Right on the doorstep, and that one's broken up. Keeps hold of the puck. Slides it over to Schwartz. Nice zone entry from the middle. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Stevenson's taking it from his own end. And now he tries to get it across to Benino. On the attack along the boards. Receives the pass. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck now. Blasts it! Oh, a reactionary save! Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Foss played so well in this point streak. You know he wants to pile on it. won the face off and the middle frame almost done tries to get the puck to hurdle moves it around along the half wall the Kraken had possession along the boards turned aside with a glove quick pass to Lozon moves the puck over to hurdle cuts to the front oh Seattle's players are frustrated as they have a really good scoring chance, but it hits the post and doesn't close the gap. Period number two is in the books. There's been no shortage of offense tonight. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us.
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Seattle's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Even though this is a great chance to tie the game, you still have to remain a little bit patient. Don't panic with the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Seattle's got the puck. Great reach with the stick in the neutral zone by Tanev. Laying the body. St. Petersburg's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. And now it's over to McCann. Slides the puck to Gore. Poked away at center by Stevenson. And it's a quick pass to Halla. And that's broken up by Hurdle. The Bears pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Stevenson's working it around in the corner. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. This power play hasn't had a chance to really get much set up. They can't get into the zone with any consistency. Now they're back, and they got to start again. Grabbed along the board by Murray. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. St. Petersburg's got possession while undermanned. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. From in close! We got a whistle here as we'll have to get the net realigned here as it was knocked off. Schwartz can't avoid the body contact. You want to look for a place to escape. Sometimes there's nowhere to go. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Winberg's won the draw here in the offensive zone. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. Puck battle along the boards. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Now a quick pass to Gustafson. Tries to get it to Glendinning. Bonito's up and ready to join the play. The man advantage fails to capitalize as they remain a goal down. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A chance to tie. They don't cash in, and now we're back to five on five. He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a T! The captain capitalizes! The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. St. Petersburg still a long way to the end of this one, but they're up by two. How does that change things? Well, it gives you more cushion, of course. You can do math. Sometimes. Yeah, but they don't really have to change too much here. I think they just continue to play in the style they are. Gives them nothing in front. Comrie's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. St. Petersburg's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Takes a shot, and that was stopped. Couldn't connect on that pass. Unable to reach that one. And we'll get a face-off at the other end of the ice. Now, I like the rule they put in a few years ago, James, where the defensive team can't change. Uh, to me, that makes a big difference as to what was a pretty boring play before. Goalies work on this all the time. We get a look in the highlight how they angle the puck 
off the blocker away from the net. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. That win will help them get organized defensively. Easy peasy right there by Grubauer. Back to the point it goes. Slides the puck over. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now he moves it quickly to McCann. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Nice pass. Scores! And they get one back! Oh, they're inching closer, James. There's still time to try and find one more to tie this game. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. The Kraken have struck back with a big-time goal to narrow the deficit. You can almost feel the urgency. They know they got to get back in this. They get one. Now they only trail by one. Dunn's gaining momentum. That pass goes a little sideways. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Now uh, you react. You go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Seattle's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. This power play almost jumped off the bench as soon as the penalty was called. They want out. They think they're the answer for the one goal deficit. Off a stick. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Comrie's under fire and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Winberg's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Oh, they score! And we're all tied up with a little power in the power play. Not often do you get an opportunity and your power play clicks looking so effective as this one just did. They talked about getting traffic to the net. They talked about building secondary options. They were doing that this morning at practice. It came to game time, and they cash in. This game is tied. Seattle's made this one a fun one for the stretch drive. All evened up in the third. It's never easy chasing the game. They found a way to get the equalizer and now shorten the game right out. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Stays with it. Takes it across the blue line. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Bears have it behind the cage. Slides the puck across to Hall. The Bears carry it along the wall. Nice poke check. Nice zone entry on the left side. Hangs onto the puck. Quick feed to Wenberg. Oh, he's got two goals already. You know he's feeling it right now. He's carrying the puck, but I gotta believe he's thinking about a third one. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Hurdles won the draw. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. St. Petersburg's got it now. Oh, sticks! And a butte. Manages to hang on. Great reach with the stick by Murray. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Martin. The Kraken have the puck in the neutral zone. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. 
Henestroza's been nabbed for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. They've zipped the puck around pretty nicely on their previous power plays, and they've been rewarded for their fine work. The key is to stay sharp. Don't think it's just going to happen for you. And that's turned aside by Comrie. And he slides it quickly to Stevenson. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. And not much on that one. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Comrie's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Seattle's won the draw. Up along the wing. Puck picked up by Fleury. Here's a short pass to Wenberg. Right in front! Comrie's gonna hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Glenn Denning's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Seattle's won the faceoff. And he gets in the lane to block that. Trying to gain a step. He's in all alone. Passes the puck over to Donskoy. Couldn't complete the play. St. Petersburg's got possession at center. Turned aside with the glove by Grubauer. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Seattle's got it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck ahead to McCann. Feeds it on over to Tanev. St. Petersburg's moving it into the offensive end. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Things start to get a little physical out there. The Bears will play it in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Murray. And that pass can't connect. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Goalie plays it up. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to Benino. St. Petersburg's across the blue line. And that's picked off. Schwartz works the puck in his own zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Kraken have it now. Denies him! Scores! And they get the lead with the man advantage! Now the power play comes through for them. They talked about having a more aggressive look on the power play. I thought they executed it perfectly. And that power play has given them a one-goal lead. We get another look at this goal. What a great finish here. If you're a goal scorer, your dream line mate is somebody that can find you in traffic or when you're open and put the puck not to an area, but right on your stick. That is a slick pass. Seattle's got an opportunity to try and close things out here in the late stages of this third period. There's still enough time left, though, James, that they have to remain an aggressive team, and their goalie is going to have to make a save or two down the stretch. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall, and he comes up with it. Hurdles looking to make something happen here in the corner, and that's poked away. Quick pass to Glenn Denning. Sends the pass down low. Takes that pass back at the point. Looks to set up along the point. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. This is when the coaches find out who's able to be trusted in a tight game. This one is not spread out yet. And this is going to go right down to the end of the wire. Hall's got the puck in his own zone. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Puck moved over to Gustafson. Here's a chance. Oh, they break away. Scores! What a finish! Yeah, once he gets into the clear, it's like...
like he's so decisive on what he wants, and he puts it away for the goal. He's so calm on this breakaway, he's got his head up the whole way. He picks his spot, snaps it by the goalie. St. Petersburg's got a little mojo back on their step after that goal here in the third. You work and you try and keep yourself light, you keep yourself aggressive, but if nothing happens for you, it gets pretty heavy. They feel good now. Tosses it to Vatnin. St. Petersburg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides it on over to Cece. Broken up in the neutral zone by Appleton. And he feeds it down to Halla. Odd man rush. Gets a club on it. Wow, what a stop by Grubauer. Pittsburgh's in the on-deck circle for the next game for these guys. Now, one aspect that doesn't get talked about, James, is while you're playing the game today, previously the assistant coaches are already breaking down video. They've got the power play and the penalty kill all queued up for the next game and the game after that. It's an ongoing process. Is that where that buzzword pre-scout comes from now? It does, and it never really ends for the coaches. Seattle's moving it along the wing. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Maintains possession. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Broken up by Vatnin. Big time save by Company. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. In the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. Seattle's won the draw, they'll go to work. And he blocks the shot, great defensive play. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Gains the zone through the middle. He's got a step, and it kind of falls apart here at the end. James, I'm going to assume he had a different idea about how that was going to finish up. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. St. Petersburg's got it in the offensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great four check by Martin. Quick feed to Murray. From the opposite point. Maintains possession of the puck along the blue line. And he slides it quickly to Murray. Makes a move in front. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Cousins has won the face-off. And it's a quick pass to Moore. And now he angles it across to Murray. And he regains control of the puck. St. Petersburg's got it near the point. Puck set across the blue line. With possession along the wall. Here he is from the slot. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. All sorts of pandemonium in front of the net, and it finally comes to an end with the whistle. That's an exhausted group of players out there. Man, they're just hoping for a stoppage somewhere as they've been running around under pressure in their zone, and they're going to be able to get back to the bench with no damage done now. Offense's own face off, and he wins the draw. From one point man to another. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Grubauer's going to hang on for a whistle. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. St. Petersburg's won the draw. Handles it along the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Byron. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Less than 60 seconds. Breakaway! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. 
And play continues here. Simple stop by Grubauer. Now a quick pass to Hall. Taken by Gustafson. Back at the point, they set it up. St. Petersburg's got the puck against the half wall. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. Hurdles picking up steam. Oh, what a move! Great reach with the poke check by Glenn Denning. Along the half wall with the puck. Stars! The go ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. This game was destined to be a tie game, but in the dying seconds, they break that tie and are able to go in front. Teams are ready for the draw. The Lions been about to drop the puck. Seattle's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Pinned up along the boards. Grubauer's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. Big save, and this one's in the books. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. All good things come to an end, but I still like the way they played, though, in this one. I thought they played pretty well. They had plenty of chances, and the game's close. You can't win every night. They talk about wanting to have more fun in the sport. This is a perfect example of that step forward. Well, when the players started saluting the fans, you could almost feel like the connection between the two of them started to increase. I think it's a great thing to do, and look how much fun everybody's having. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.